factorize this particular cubic expression. The very first thing we have to start off with is writing things in standard form. So we have p of x which is equal to x cube 1x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. And the next step is your factor theorem. So we are trying to figure out a factor using trial and error. But there is a condition that we need to check if the coefficient of if the coefficient of coefficient of x cube is 1. It is 1. So there is a tick and we can continue on to the next step. So the next step being writing the factors of the constant. Factors of the constant and in this case the constant is minus 5 or 5 that's good enough doesn't matter. Plus or minus 1 plus or minus 5. These are your set of factors. Now we have to try um, you know there are four numbers we have to try a number which uh, which makes this expression 0 if we go with 1 1 minus 3 minus 9 minus 5 now nah, the negative numbers are too big we won't get that so we have to go with a negative number minus 1 yes this will become plus so I think that will work x is equal to minus 1 again always do trial and error figure out what is you know might be the possibility even if you're not sure that's okay you can try it it's not in pro it's not a problem that you write it on a sheet of paper it's okay if it doesn't turn out to be a factor okay if the reminder does not turn out to be zero it's okay okay now so we have a uh, minus one the whole cube minus three into minus one the whole square minus nine into minus one minus five so this is minus one minus three into one plus nine minus five so nine and all of this is zero right so, so yes our assumption that we'll get a zero was correct so we found the factor so again i'll explain why how to find the factor from the previous section we know that g of x if it's equal to x plus 1 then the 0 of g of x we can find it by let me do this properly 0 of g of x we can find it by equating x plus 1 being equated equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 is the 0 of this particular expression right the same thing over here p of x also has a value of minus 1 as it's 0. Since this is matching this linear equation and p of x's zeros are matching what can we conclude? Therefore x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. This is your reminder theorem and factor theorem combined. Okay now once that is established, all we have to do is taking common if not dividing things. So how do you take common? P of x is equal to 1x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. So this is where you guys will feel it's a tricky. Simple. Write the first term. Write the next term. Looking at what common what is that we want common so we have we have to get x plus 1 so I'll write 1x square because when I take 1x square common I'll get x plus 1 okay now we need to add something over here so that this particular term and this particular term put together will give you this term so that is minus 4x square plus 1x square minus 4x square will give you minus 3x square 
करेक्ट द नेक्स्ट टर्म शुड बी सो दैट वेन आई टेक माइनस फोर एक्स कॉमन आई शुड गेट एक्स प्लस वन सो दिस हैज टू बी माइनस फोर एक्स सो इफ आई टेक माइनस फोर एक्स एल बी लेफ्ट आउट विथ एक्स प्लस वन इज दिस करेक्ट राइट इट्स करेक्ट ना so we have x plus 1 over here as well and the next step is this term and the this this term should add up to minus 9x how will we do that by taking minus 5x minus 4x minus 5x is minus 9x and last just copy this term and take common from this to and here it is minus 5 and by default you will get x plus 1 Okay, so only place you have to struggle a bit. It's not a struggle. You have to think a bit. You should put that effort. It's not a struggle. The word struggle is. It's not. It's not a struggle. By default, it's not. It's all a struggle. It's just a way of thinking. You have to change your thinking. That's about growing, right? That's about learning. That's your job. So you have to learn this way. And at last, we have first, second, and third term. in which we have x plus 1 as common so what is left out x square minus 4x minus 5 so you can do the same thing with your division also we'll get this as a quotient and next step would be to split the middle term so we are doing splitting the middle term so we have g of x is equal to 1x square minus 4x minus 5 so we need two terms which when multiplied should give minus 5 which when added should give minus 4 right 1 into minus 5 is minus 5 and this is minus 4 so for that we need to Write the factors of five. So plus or minus one, plus or minus five. So what combination should we go with? Five and one, obviously. Uh, we need minus five, so I'll go with minus five plus one. So we'll get minus five. Minus five plus five will give me minus four. Good enough. And so we have g of x as one x square minus five x. Plus one x minus five. Common, common. So here we have one x common, and we have x minus five. And here we have plus one common. X minus five. And between these two terms, we have x minus five as common factor. And we are left out with x plus one. And so your final answer is. It's not a step. So therefore, p of x is equal to x plus one, x minus five, and x plus one. Okay, so yes, we got x plus one two times. Not an issue. This is correct. So a small note. Let's talk about the zeros now. Zeros are minus one plus five minus one. again i hope all this makes sense so let's see this graphically so your expression is what 1 minus 3 in minus 9 5 1 minus 3 minus 9 minus 5 oh okay wait minus 5 or plus 5 minus 5 done so now if we ha huh. Execute this program. We have a graph which is passing, which looks like one and five. Let's zoom in to confirm. Zooming in is the tricky part. If I don't zoom in properly, then hmm, it'll go a bit up or down. Hmm. Right? Can you see that? Again, it's not very visible actually. Right? Can you see that? So this is your x-axis. Let me put it properly. Yes. 
so the graph is passing touching minus 1 and going back and it's passing 5 so what are your zeros over here minus 1 minus 1 minus plus 5 and the same thing we are getting so that's how we are able to get minus 1 two times it's just touching and going so we have two different values as the zeros and the reason is this if you guys want to have a look at the entire graph uh, it looks something like this so let me zoom out furthermore I, I, oh, zoomed in okay can you see this so the graph goes like that it doesn't discontinue it, it's continuous it's a continuous graph okay so this end it's basically going to infinity and that end also is going to infinity okay so this is basically your graph right so you can see two bands for a cubic polynomial so which we had discussed before as well okay so now you can pause and have a look at the answer again the funda is splitting this two terms so that we get all of this this is a basic funda it's similar to your splitting the middle term a bit different version of course that version is a bit different but yes if you understand splitting the middle term properly this is not that difficult if you're not comfortable with this please go with division even that is okay you'll get the same answer so you can pause and have a look at the answers please enroll to our program at chalkpiececademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification and calculation uh, diy projects we'll code with python we'll work with Arduino Uno there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it they are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better we'll have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams it's very cost effective there would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this